absolutely no idea what he's doing. He's never jumped on that. Can you get down? Are you scared? Are you scared? What do you think? Do you need help? Buongiorno beautiful people, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Long time that I have... Oh my god. Hang on, he's trying to get off. There you go. Um, long time that I haven't been vlogging or uploading and yeah, I've been just really, really sick. <laughs> Didn't have any COVID, thank God. Um, I don't think I've actually ever caught it so far. Touch wood. But yeah, it wasn't COVID. I just suddenly had a fever that was so bad. I feel like I was almost delirious for two days. I was like in bed and... I don't know, I could barely talk. I was just really out of it. Then the third or fourth day, um, my fever went down from 38 and a half, 38.7 to 37.7, something like that. And then, yeah, six, seven day, got it better. So yeah, I'm starting now to be back, feeling like I'm myself a little bit. Um, I'm currently having my breakfast. Sorry, my phone is going off. But yeah, I'm currently having my breakfast. I don't know why I decided today to do a French toast and to mix the collagen in the egg. It looks delicious though with a little bit of um, honey and some blueberries. Um, I had a slice of bread before um, going to the gym this morning. So yeah, this is my second slice, but I'm just really hungry. I guess like because I haven't been eating much when I was sick. My body is just really trying to get the energy to fully get back into my old self. But yeah, and I tried to do my hair with a Dyson wrap this morning, as you will probably have seen in the time lapse. I'm not too mad about it, uh, but I, I am definitely not the kind of person that knows how to do hair. Like, I feel like I've tried different things, different techniques, uh, when my hair was longer, when my hair was shorter, and it's just, I'm not that kind of girl. What can I say? It's just not my thing. But I'm not too mad about it. Hopefully, it will stay for today, so that will be nice to have at least one thing put together. I feel like whenever I've been sick, or I've been like, yeah, not myself, getting my fake tan on, doing my hair, and you know, little things like that do really help to get my mood back and my energy levels back and just focus on the positive. So yeah, I really, really fancied doing my hair even though I, I it, it took me a long time to do it. I'm having now my break from work, having some breakfast. And then today, I honestly don't know what I have planned. I really just wanted to pick up the camera and feel like, you know, productive again because even though I've been working I just feel like if I don't do work and something else I'm not productive it's a mental thing so because tomorrow is the day that the bed frame arrives the king size bed from made.com arrives um, unfortunately we tried our best to time it so that the new mattress the bigger one uh, would also arrive on or you know ever so slightly after the bed frame but it didn't work because me.com told us that the dispatch date was like the 9th of february so we calculate at least three four days and then all of a sudden on the 28th of jan they marked it as dispatched sorry my cat is screaming um they marked it as dispatched and it's arriving tomorrow so yeah we're just going to i think disassemble the bed tomorrow to make space for the delivery and just for now put the double mattress that we have that we're using now onto the new frame until the new mattress arrive and then we paid i think it was like 40 pounds to get our old mattress disposed because we don't have a car we don't have anyone around here to help us with that and i just didn't want to drop it in front of our house in the middle of the street for weeks and weeks so yeah that's going to be taken care of on the 15th of feb i think so in preparation for the madness that's going to be tomorrow i thought i would clean up uh, the room 
you know, just dust it, get it all nice and tidy so that we can just set up the bed. And as well, I need to sort out the stuff that is stuffed underneath the bed because as of right now, all of my shoes, my heels, um, I think a few stuff from Josh is like winter things. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just shuffle everything underneath the bed and forget about it. So I feel like I definitely need to dust that sort that um see if i need to donate anything and just you know go through it so i still need to get used to talking and blogging at the same time because otherwise i will never do anything here and also ensure that i don't have anything in my teeth um and yeah so there's a little bit of a, an update of where i've been and what's happened um and why i've been away gym wise i am getting back to it very slowly um, the first time we went to the gym, it was on, I can't remember, it was Saturday or Sunday. And um, halfway through, I was like, no, I just had to go home. I felt very tired, uh, just just not well. I was getting really hot, but you know, in a bad way, I was getting very uncomfortable. Um, again, we tested for COVID like 400 times, like to make sure that we were okay. Uh, but yeah, it wasn't great. So I went back home. Um, didn't go on Monday and I'll tell you in a second why uh, so I did an upper body session on Tuesday so yesterday and then this morning I did a leg session so I'm just gonna put that leg session now on the vlog and then after I finish my breakfast and I've done a little bit more of work I'll explain the other ordeal that happened on Monday because that's a whole other section of the video in itself uh, but it's very important to talk about it so yeah I'll just put now the workout and then I'll see you in a sec technically almond so like creamy weird i'm in the bedroom so this is the bed hopefully in a week or a couple of days it will be gone i'm over having the end there i feel like because i like to sleep with a couple of pillows so my whole body's like shifted down and then my feet always hit the the head um the footboard I think it's called so yeah the new bed is going to be bigger this is a double so the new bed is going to be a king so it's going to come up I'd say pretty much where the edges of the footboard is and then it's slightly longer obviously and then I just wanted to go oh my god you can't really see it but basically it's just a mess of shoes and boxes and whatnot and I feel like it's going to be Literally, when I started talking, a motorcycle and like four cars were in front of my house. There's literally no traffic in the street. And right when I'm talking, that's where everybody comes. I lost my train of thought. Yes, so 
I just wanted to go underneath the bed, sort out, get all the boxes out and see what we're at. Um, maybe put a couple of my shoes that don't have a box just in one of our spare um, plastic boxes just for now dust them because probably they're just yeah full of dust and whatnot um, and sort it out me I had the idea of you know getting the bed tomorrow and building it like building the frame and just get it sorted tomorrow but I mean it is a work day so I don't know if we will have the time or the energy to do that it was a beautiful sunny day about two hours ago and now it's all gloomy and I feel like it, it's either very dark or it washes out the picture. I'm about to start this just because I need a break from work. I have one of these days where I'm just, I'm thinking about so many things at the same time that my headspace is not there and I'm making kind of errors at work. So I just thought, you know what? gonna take my lunch break now um, I just ate something quickly and I will just you know take the opportunity to continue vlogging before I start I just wanted to quickly go through what happened on Monday because it's a bit intense so I thought I would just talk about it so basically two three weeks ago I had a in-person appointment with one of the nurses at our you know, GP practice, whatever you call it. Um, and she went through all my moles. I have loads of moles throughout my whole body. Uh, many of them on my back, on my legs, on my chest, arms, I mean, everywhere, on my hips. Um, and so I knew that that's something that one should keep an eye on. And I haven't done a good job at keeping an eye on them. So. I just thought, you know what, I'm turning 25 next week. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go and get them checked, just in case. Um, and I did the appointment with the nurse and she didn't give me the impression that any of them were concerning. So I just, you know, went home and that's it. And I thought the, you know, the, the issue was resolved. I would just have to take pictures now and then throughout the months and years to come I will keep taking pictures and compare them and if I see that any of them changes shape or size or whatever then I would you know get them checked again but then a week after or a few days after I received a letter straight at home saying that I had an appointment at the hospital uh, in the uh, plastics department and I was just very confused and so I called and they were like, oh yeah, it's in relation with your moles. I'm like, okay, what about it? And they're like, oh, I don't know. You just got a referral and you have the appointment done. I'm like, okay. And they couldn't access any of the notes of my file. So they didn't know why the appointment was done. Um, so on Monday I had the appointment. Um, so I was a little bit, yeah, for, not frustrated, but I was a little bit on edge, which is why I didn't go to the gym. And yeah, I just went to the appointment and the doctor there saw again my moles and decided that two of them on my back i'll put a picture here um and it's the upper two that are sort of like together on my in the middle of my back um he just decided that they don't look bad but they don't look good either and he suggested to go ahead get them removed send them to the lab to get them checked and yeah and that then after four six eight weeks whatever it was um of sending them to the lab they will tell me what they are and then we'll you know act accordingly <sighs> depending if it's a like good or bad scenario a bad scenario being for what I understood cancer obviously so I don't know, I just, it took me completely by surprise because as I said, nothing happened. So I voluntarily made the appointment. Then I, I guess I misunderstood and I wasn't aware I had to go to the hospital. So when the letter arrived, it took me by surprise. And then, um, my phone. And then I went having no idea what to expect. 
And then when the doctor told me that they were gonna go ahead and remove it and that there will be a scar obviously that I wouldn't be able to go to the gym for two weeks or you know I wouldn't be able to do any movements that stretches the skin on my back because of the stitches um, I don't know I don't know what to think about it <laughs> I just got a bit I guess scared that's the word for it I just got scared and I'm still a little bit scared. I think it's nothing. I think that, well, I hope even if it's something that because I, you know, decided to get it checked straight away now, then that's good. I don't know. Anyhow, I got tired of holding the camera. Um, yeah, so those are the news about this week. And as well, obviously, when I, when I was sick uh, with the fever and everything, I was recovering, um, I was getting worked up uh, because the appointment was, you know, the following week on Monday. So I was, yeah, I was in a good headspace, shall I say. So right now I am going to be very, not materialistic, but I'm just going to focus on the new bed. And I'm, you know, next week is my birthday. I'm going to turn 25 now. So I'm just gonna focus on that and we shall see. I have to receive the letter for the appointment for when they remove the moles. Um, they told me it takes anywhere between four and six weeks just because they have a bit, a bit of a backlog. So yeah, in a month, month and a half, they'll remove the moles um, and then we shall have two weeks not necessarily, well, perhaps the first week of the gym. And then we shall see. But yeah, I just wanted to update you. I just want to put, put it out there because if you have any moles, any at all, um, go get them checked. You never know, right? You never know. You can lose an afternoon and you went for nothing, but at least you went and you have the peace of mind that you're fine and that your moles are fine. So personally, I would really recommend that you go. I don't want this, you know, me talking about it to be a deterrent, to be, you know, a reason why you, you get scared of going um, because I think you should go and then you have 100% the peace of mind that everything is fine. So yeah, just go. Okay, so this is the damage in terms of shoes. Those are shoes that are completely dusty. Try to go over it with the vacuum, but you know. Um, and then in terms of the boxes, I didn't realize that none of the boxes match what's inside. Well, the majority don't. Um, here, yeah, got like four different pairs of Michael Kors sandals. These are Aldo sandals, um, but then I think the rest they're all weird. Like, this is Aces ones, Kurt Geiger, there's Zara heels in this Nike box. It's all a big mess. I mean, to be honest, they're except for those two boxes, they're all heels, and yet I don't wear heels. <laughs> I just don't understand how a person can have so many heels and like wedges. And yet I always end up in sneakers and I'm always at the gym. 
so I don't know how that happened. I don't want to really, I don't think I'm going to throw many away just because they're not, they're not bad shoes. They're not old shoes. I mean, they're old, but I probably worn each of them once. So they're not that old to throw them away. They're technically in good condition, so I could donate them. But I don't know. We shall leave them for now. I am really wondering why I did all this because the bed doesn't arrive until tomorrow. Um, leaving it out there like that just, it gives me anxiety. Mess gives me anxiety. I cannot deal with it. So I don't know, I feel like I'll just shuffle them on a corner of the room. I really don't know where to put you and the spotlights are just awful in this room. Um, but yeah. Literally, that's all I'm up to today. Um, this vlog literally had zero value add. Don't even know what title I'm gonna give it because I haven't done anything particularly interesting today. But as I said, I just wanted to vlog and update you on what's been going on and why I've been a little bit struggling. Struggling with life and things and anxiety and whatnot. Today the traffic is just not okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, the other thing is that I was meant to receive, <laughs> I bought the new Fortless collection from Unreactive. I bought them all, um, except for the Midnight Blue leggings, which disappeared, disappeared as I was paying, okay? Um, but I got all the sets in leggings and I got uh, one pair of black shorts for the new, from the new collection. So, um, again, not paid. I spent my own money on it. So I, I am literally waiting for that. It was meant to arrive yesterday, um, but it's still in transit, I don't understand. I, I literally seen people wearing the new pieces and I'm like, ah! I ordered it within 10 minutes, so I don't understand why it's not here. But anyhow, but yeah, uh, that was the other thing I wanted to do in this vlog, but it's not here, so I can't do it. And as well, I was thinking perhaps I should finish the vlog tomorrow and show you the bed. But again, I have a feeling they, something will happen and they will end up delivering super late at night or something like that. So I'm, I think I'm just gonna finish it here. Again, super random, zero value add to your life at all whatsoever, but at least you got the workout, you got the breakfast, a little bit of my day, and that's all I can do. That's all that my mental capacity allows me to do. So I really hope you like this weird vlog. If you did, then please don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn the bell notification on so you know when I upload, and hopefully this bed will be gone and I will see you on a bedroom remodel vlog or the owner active turn haul. Ciao!